Glenn Trull in Dunfrace and Galloway. The start of today's walk. Beautiful waters of Minnock. We take a little detour first past the visitor centre, up along the short path along the waters of Minnick. And if you could only manage this, it's well worth a look. It's accessible by a wheelchair too. The visitor centre has a cafe and toilets and sells some gifts too. We'll be back in there later. Today's main walk takes us along the water of Trull Trail. Say that when you've had a few. At 7.2 kilometres or 4.5 miles, it's just enough for today. We have a 3.5 hour drive home later on. The walk is well waymarked and easy to follow, with good surfaces along its length. The early stages of the walk pass through young woodland. Keep an eye out for mountain bikes.
There are lovely views of the hills beyond. Bout's Head Waterfall. This runs down from the Rig of Strawn down into the Water of Trull. Lock Trool is ahead at this point, but you can't quite see it. After gently climbing, we start our descent down into the valley below. Here the path crosses one of the roads, so care is needed if you've got children or dogs. The route passes through the Lockchul car park. Here you'll find an honesty shop. We had no change, so the rhubarb stopped where it was. Cross the waters of a troll and heading to what feels like much older oak woodland. The Martyr's Tomb. This square walled tomb in the woods was built to commemorate six covenanters who were caught in the act of praying and were shot on the spot. The wall surrounds a plaque and carved stone with a large stone placed on the four sides to act as a step. So what are covenanters? Scottish Presbyterians were known as covenanters and objected to the English Anglicans interfering in their worship. They supported the National Covenant of 1638, pledging opposition to the Anglican bishops, hence the name covenanters. Charles II was restored to the throne in 1660, the Covenanters were only able to hold illegal outdoor worship. Troops were used to break these gatherings up and violence ensued. This became known as the Killing Times. The worst of the persecutors were known as the Bloody Clavers. 
After the English Glorious Revolution of 1688-89, an ecclesiastical settlement re-established Presbyterian church governance in Scotland, but the covenants were not renewed. The water meanders lazily now round the Isles of Troll. The woodland changes again to forestry plantation and young mixed woodland. Time for reflection. The water starts to gather pace again at Black Loop.
We leave the bridge and the water of Trull behind and head back to run parallel with the waters of Minnick. Do be aware if you come with a dog, especially in summer, that all the bracken will be green and ticks will do their best to get a meal from your pooch. We have already had to deal with them this year after walking woodlands. As we approach the car park and what was the start of this walk, the Waters of Minute put on a display. Oh, there's some food left. I'm hungry. The cafe serves great value food, highly recommended. We were joined by the locals too. <laughs> 